Hey guys, so let's go over some of those questions from the last episode about percents and ratios. First up, we have a shirt normally priced at $15. You have a 30% coupon for the shirt. How much will the shirt cost after using the coupon? So we've got a shirt at 15 and we know it's 30% off. So all we need to do is multiply the 15 by the 30%. So let's change that 30% into a fraction, which is just putting it over 100. Next up, we can simplify the 30 over 100 to 3 tenths. And then we can further simplify by reducing the 15 and the 10 to 3 and 2. Multiply 3 times 3, which is 9, over 2, which is the equivalent of 4.5, 4.5. So we get a discount of 4.5, or $4.50. So the shirt will cost 15 minus 4.50 which is 10.50. So the shirt will cost $10.50. Next up we have a book that costs $40 and we know we can get $8 off it. What percent would we be getting off the original price? So all we need to do is take the $40, put 8 over it, and figure out that we're getting a fifth off of 40, which is the equivalent of we can take this to 100 to figure it out, so we multiply 5 by 20, 1 by 20, which is 20 over 100, which is 20%. Next up, we have the ratio of A to B is 2 to 9, and B to C is 4 to 3. What's the ratio of A to C? So for this question, what we need to do, and I'll bring this up here since there's more room, is we know that A to B is 2 to 9, and we know B to C is 4 to 3. All we need to do is find a common multiple of 9 to 9 and 4, which is b in this case. So 36, 9 times 4 is 36. We're multiplying 9 by 4 to get 36, so we can multiply 2 by 4 to get 8. Here we're multiplying by 9 to get 36, so we multiply 3 by 9 to get 27. This is A, this is B, this is B, and this is C. And since the B's are the same now, we can just take 8 and put it up to 27. And that's the ratio of A to C. Number 4. The ratio of bottles of juice to water in a bag is 2 to 5, and we know, there, we know that there's a total of 14 bottles in the bag. How many bottles of juice are in the bag? Okay. So all we need to do in this case is take the ratio 2 to 5 and put them alongside x's and add them together. And we know that 2x represents the number of bottle of juices and 5x represents the water. So we know that juice plus water should equal the total number of bottles, which is 14. So 2x plus 5x is 7x, which is equal to 14 and x is equal to 2. We're not done there because we know that juice is represented by 2x, so we need to multiply 2 by 2, which gets us 4 bottles of juice. All right, and last up, we have a question that has four students taking 15 hours to finish a project. We're trying to figure out how long it would take three students to finish that project and how long it would take five students to finish it. So if we think about it, if it takes four students 15 hours to finish a project, three students would probably take longer to finish the same project, while five students would take fewer hours to finish that same project. So this would be an inverse variation problem. So if you remember how to solve those, we need to find the constant. So we take four students times 15 hours, which gets us 60. So we know that for three students, to finish a project, we just take 3x, the three students, times x, which is the number of hours, would equal that same constant of 60. So we know that x would be 20. So three students would take 20 hours. For five students, all we need to do is do 5x, x being, again, the number of hours. Have that equal to 60, again, that constant. And x would equal 12. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Like always, feel free to leave questions and comments below. 
and give the video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful.